So there's quite a few of these 4.7 Dodge engines on YouTube. Uh, full rebuilds and everything, excellent videos. Uh, checked out a couple of them myself while I was doing my rebuild. Um, you know. But anyway, um, I, the purpose of this video is if you buy one of these engines, you know, rebuilt, it comes with a tag on them and, you know, explaining to buy a new intake manifold. So I didn't, I rebuilt this one myself. So uh, I did some research on it. My machinist who did all the machine work on it actually told me to replace the intake. Don't use it. Uh, like everybody else, you know, you want to save a buck. So I'm thinking, you know what, I'm going to probably just flush mine out and see if I can, you know, see any metal particles come out, things of that nature. Um, purpose for this video is to tell you to go ahead and, and replace it. As you can see, uh, I used the pressure washer. I pressure washed off uh, my valve covers and the timing cover. So I thought, you know what, I'll go ahead and blast out the uh, intake manifold as well. So I, I, I rinsed it out really good with the water hose. Didn't get anything that came out. Okay. And then um, I hit it with the pressure washer today. I actually put some focused uh, pressure right through this uh, hole here in the intake. And then, you know, went around and hit every orifice. Now, let me show you what I got out of this. I got these chunks that came out of here. I mean, these are serious, uh, you know, bits of metal here. I don't know if you want to suck that back into a, you know, a brand new rebuilt motor. Um, so I, I would recommend to get another intake. You know, find one that is either brand new or from a recycler that um, has not come off of a 4.7 with that drop valves. So if you're doing this job and you want to research whether or not uh, you need to replace this intake or flush it out, uh, my I'm going to go ahead and buy another one. After I've seen this come out, the second time around, the first time I flushed it, I didn't really get much, maybe a little dust, metal dust. But the second time I hit it with my pressure washer, I got this out of there. That's enough for me. I'm not going to squander this motor that you know, I spent quite a bit of money on, machine work and you know, parts and gaskets, etc. Uh, you know, it's best to just go ahead and get another intake manifold. So that's my take on this. If you're doing this job or you're putting a rebuilt one in there, um, go ahead and get a new intake. You really don't want those metal particles being sucked back in there. All right, I hope this helps someone out.